Hi, Kate here from the Safeguarding Academy and welcome to this week's 5 Minute Masterclass. This week I want to talk to you about interim supervision orders. Interim supervision orders are an order made by the court. So the local authorities issued care proceedings, it's got enough evidence to demonstrate that there's a reasonable risk of harm um, or significant harm to a child and a local authority takes the view that or a court takes the view that a local authority doesn't need to share parental responsibility but what is needed is an order to allow the local authority or to perhaps in some cases force a local authority to advise, assist and befriend a child. And these orders are usually made where a child is remaining within the family. So court proceedings have been issued, the child is not staying with a parent but maybe staying with a grandparent, an auntie, an uncle or another extended family member. And the court feels that there needs to be some sort of legal structure around that placement and a local authority needs to be involved but as a holding position an interim supervision order will allow a local authority to as I say advise assist and befriend that child and that can be for any number of reasons the most common is that it assists in terms of support for the carer and that carer may need some assistance in terms of transport to and from school for the child, may need some assistance around some equipment or alterations needed within the family home to allow the child to remain in that placement. Or it could be that there are contact issues. So there may have been a falling out within family members, that contact has to be supervised, and a local authority is best placed to provide that extra support in order to allow that to happen. An interim supervision order can also be made if there are circumstances which mean that to have a care order it would be an illegal placement to allow the child to remain where they are. And those circumstances can be where a potential carer wouldn't pass the necessary regulations in order to be an approved foster carer or you couldn't have the right um, steps in place and a parent wouldn't have the ability to pass placement with parent regulations and those are two key sets of regulations that govern where children can remain when a local authority is placing them so a local authority is involved and it's a local authority's decision to put these children in those placements. So in a nutshell the care order that's applied for may not be appropriate if the decision is for a child to remain in a placement where it may not be suitable because of passing the sufficient regulatory tests that are required. Now the holding position for that is the child remains where they are but under the framework of an interim supervision order. So a local authority still has involvement but is there advising, assisting and befriending rather than sharing parental responsibility. Now I appreciate that's quite a lot of what could possibly be legal gobbledygook but they are necessary frameworks in place because the whole point is protecting a child appropriately but if a court has made the decision that that's the right placement then that decision rests with the court and so there is that framework around to allow a local authority to continue its involvement but under the framework of an interim supervision order to make sure that it's there assisting and doing what it needs to do in order to make sure a child's welfare needs are met. If you have any questions about anything within this masterclass then please leave a comment below or in the Facebook page, the Safeguarding Academy. And if you want more information around this framework and how it all fits together then members of the Online Academy will have access to me 
um, every day of the week to ask those questions and to find that guidance within the online academy and so you can get to that by going through to the safeguardingacademy.com and clicking on sign up. Until next week, thank you very much.